I'll show you the impact that cut off South America from us from Antarctica at the end of the video. This will, is easily seen on the Google Earth map and tell me what you think. It's at the end of the video. Thank you. This is an astonishing claim. Uh, asteroid warning. The US Defense Secretary warns of devastation impact. Devastating impact could be tomorrow. The asteroid large enough to cause planet-wide devastation could surprise us here on Earth by striking tomorrow without any warning. This is what a former US Defense Secretary has shockingly, astonishingly claimed. This is on Express UK by Sebastian Ketley. Killer asteroids have hit Earth before, with destructive potential to wipe out vast swaths of humanity could strike again. They strike every hundreds of millions of years, but William Cohen, who is the former US Secretary of Defense under President Bill Clinton, fears the next asteroid strike could happen even earlier. A huge asteroid which is believed to have wiped out the dinosaurs, uh, dinosaurs struck in modern-day Mexico some 65 million years ago. Uh, we did uh, post some videos on that that's at the, off the Yucatan Peninsula. The OS asteroid only measured an estimated 6.8 miles in diameter, but was responsible for the extinction of 75% of all life on Earth. Now, should such an asteroid threat present itself in the near future, Cohen warned it would take a much smaller asteroid to rain fire and brimstone over Earth. He was speaking to George Nuri of Coast to Coast AM Radio, and Cohen said a 450-foot-wide asteroid could wipe out an entire city or area. An even bigger, that is half a mile space rock, could completely devastate the whole planet. And the bigger, the biggest danger associated with deep space impacts is it could be very soon, it could be tomorrow. Cohen said, if you look at the speed at which they come in, at 33,000 miles an hour, with that kind of a size, it would devastate the planet. It would crack the mantle of the Earth. If it landed in the sea, it would crack the mantle there and then take the center of our Earth and push it up into the atmosphere. It would turn into fireballs coming down and ultimately that is acid rain because you have carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide and methane combined into a mushroom all over the planet. And the most recent asteroid strike which sparked widespread interest around the globe was the one that was never even seen coming in, uh, the meteorite, the 2013 February Chelyabinsk meteor over uh, northern Russia. Nobody even saw that coming. February 15, 2013, a small, undetected, it was even undetected, asteroid measuring only 65.6 feet in diameter flew over Chelyabinsk Oblast in Russia, and the small asteroid exploded in the air with 30 times the force of Hiroshima nuclear bomb uh, that was dropped in 1945. The resulting air blast damaged more than 7,000 buildings in the region and more than 1,000 people suffered injuries from uh, blown out windows. Cohen said, if it can do that damage, imagine what something a mile wide or two miles wide can do. Now, how often do asteroids hit the Earth? Well, you know, I just put up a video, I think yesterday, the day before. If you look at Google Earth, it's a beautiful thing to do, just look around. Look at the, the Earth's crust. And if you look around the area uh, south, uh, uh, bet uh, between exactly, exactly between the tip of South America and the tip of Antarctica, you see that they're curving outwards towards um, the Atlantic Ocean. And that it's, it's as if the mantle of the Earth, the crust of the Earth, had been pushed like a huge finger pushed there because they were they seem to have been connected South America and Antarctica with a little like a peninsula or some kind and something came and grazed the earth's surface pushed it I, I think I um, estimated it about um, 
200 miles across, 160 miles across, and there are other indicators, and, and it, split the, it split South America from Antarctica and caused those tips to curve towards the Atlantic. Please go and look at that. Please go and look at that. It's worth looking at because it has, made, it has left a groove. Now, there's nothing there, but the groove is there. And then it sort of came to a halt, and you see that the crust of the Earth it's as if it, it's as if when you're pushing your fi your finger on a piece of velvet fabric, and the wave goes up before your finger, as as you're pressuring the fabric, that's what happened to the Earth. And you have like two pieces of crust, and on the first piece you have an arc of volcanoes, which means that it affected the Earth's mantle. They're like uh, hot spots there, and you see that in other areas of the world as well. So yeah, we have been hit. And that must have been a devastating destruction. So the White House report published in June 2018 it was, uh, has support from NASA and other agencies. They found major asteroids are not an immediate uh, convener for Earth's safety. Instead, it's the smaller and mid-sized asteroids which are harder uh, to successfully spot. Okay, you can see the big ones very easily, but the little ones you can't. And the report, the report reads, NASA is confident that it has discovered and cataloged all near-Earth asteroids large enough to cause significant global damage. And they determined that they are not on collision course with Earth. Okay, they've said, they believe they've seen the big ones, but the little ones, forget it. Where are they? The report also notes NASA has so far discovered about 95% of all asteroids more than one kilometer in diameter. That's 0.6 miles. Scientists find Earth's atmosphere is pelted by space debris on a daily basis, with more than 100 tons of sand-sized dust striking every single day. And according to NASA, larger objects approximately the size of a car hit the Earth once a year, and even bigger asteroids the size of a football pitch, pitch a football field strike on average every 2,000 years. And NASA said, uh, only once every few million years, an object large enough to threaten Earth civilization comes along. Impact craters on Earth, we have about 50 at least on, uh, on uh, Australia, and we've got the, the North, Ameri North America, Canada is riddled with them. Impact craters on Earth, the Moon, and other planetary bodies are evidence of these things occurring. Space rocks smaller than about 82 feet 25 meters will most likely burn up as they enter the Earth's atmosphere and cause little or no damage. But if a rock, a rocky meteorite larger than that, but smaller than one kilometer, a little more than uh, half a mile, were to hit the Earth, it would likely cause local damage to the area. NASA said the largest known potentially hazardous asteroid, 3.3 miles across, is asteroid. To Tatis. But, uh, okay, we have people urging NASA asteroid shock. The scientists absolutely are certain. Claim over Earth strike revealed. A scientist admitted he's absolutely certain an asteroid will strike Earth in the future and urges his colleagues to look into possibilities of defending our planet against devastation. So asteroids, which usually sit in the inner solar system, tend to orbit the sun, but don't resemble the shape of a planet. There are millions of these rocks formations flying around space, and there are collisions, which are known as impact events, played significant roles in shaping many planets. Now, the uh, uh, Yucatan, the, Mexico, uh, the Mexican uh, asteroid, the Tuxlubu, which, which was 112 mile wide, made a 112 mile wide, wide crater in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico was the smoking gun to the extinction of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. And uh, it will not be the last of its kind, according to John Zarnecki. The International Space Science Director claimed, in our time, broadcasts on asteroids that another event of this magnitude will strike again. It could be in five years' time, it could be in 5,000 or even 5 million, he said. He's a former professor of space science 
at the Open University and he urged more research to be put into defending the planet. He said, we just have to look around us in the solar system at objects like the moon, hammered with impact craters on the astronomical time scale. These happen relatively frequently. We live in a very dynamic solar system and it's a matter of time when the asteroid will hit. We should be looking and planning ways to defend an asteroid, uh, to deflect an asteroid at some point. And he revealed during an um, asteroid tracker series how NASA could knock the space rock off course. Uh, he said in space, well, one scientist said in space, we would use a mirror like a magnifying glass. As we would hit the asteroid, we begin to vaporize material, and as it vaporizes, the asteroid gets pushed the other way. What we would do with a real asteroid is focus some light on it until the rock vaporizes. All we need to do is change the velocity of the asteroid by one centimeter a second. And that tiny nudge over the year will push it off a collision course and save Earth. And now for what I was telling you concerning Google Earth. Let's take a look at that right now together. Direction. Oops, sorry. Let's fix the direction. We're going down. And here we are at the tip of South America. And, and here we are at the tip of Antarctica. This Antarctica, the South Pole. This is Australia. And this is New Zealand. Okay, so look at this. You see, something came around here. And like a big, huge finger pressured this, and it looks as if uh, it made a, it heated, it was, it was, it treated the Earth's crust as if it was plastic, plastic, uh, plasticine. So look, look what it did here. It curved, it looks as if these pieces of land were, t were somehow together, and um, it cut them. It cut them, and it pressed in, and these parts, of course, uh, flung from from the cutting of this area. And if you go towards it, there's nothing. It doesn't seem to be anything foreign there. It could have been a huge chunk of ice that uh, brought water to the planet that vaporized, I don't know, I don't know what, what, what you could say it was, but it, 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 it acted as if the Earth's crust was like clay, soft clay, and you have the mound of pressure stopping there, and you have these volcanic islands there. I think they're the Sandwich Islands. These are the North Sandwich, yeah, this is Greek because I'm in Greece, and that's why these are Greek letters, and you have these volcanic little things here, and uh, you can see that how it stopped and made that crust right there from something pressuring it. And it looks as if it came this way. Swept it, cleaned it, even cleaned it from the fractures. There are no fractures there, you can't even see the fractures there anymore. It melted it. It just melted it. Melted it. And came this way. And you have other areas like that on the Earth. And I don't know if this crack was from that. I mean, it could, could be. Look, look at this. It could sort of cracked like a shell of an, of an egg. And it goes all the way down. And this is another area that has something similar. I'll show you. Okay, we have to turn that around. Hold on, I have to turn, no. Turn it around, turn it around. Okay, here, around Papua New Guinea. Okay, Papua New Guinea, you see that there? That's another one. That's another area that has something similar. Again, you have something that came in that way, comes in this way, and stops right there. It makes that crust there with those little volcanic islands. 
right there. Okay, and that's Indonesia there. So that's another area that has something strange like that. That's what I wanted to show you. I mean, this, to me, is really an indication something like that has happened here. That's just not normal. It's as if somebody, something came in, slammed into Earth. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a foreign object there. Maybe it was just a, a huge chunk of ice that uh, brought in water or whatever um, and left that mark, cut South America from Ant Antarctica. Amazing. I don't know, maybe you even created this crack here. Amazing. This is a huge crack. Okay, thank you for listening. Tell me what you think about this. This is very, very strange, and we saw it near the Papua New Guinea, Indonesia area as well. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.